Hey guys, welcome to Let's Play Luigi's Mansion today. I am Ray Carbionich, and welcome to my, I believe my eighth Let's Play. So let's get started, Luigi's Mansion. Um, I'll say this right now, it's pretty intense. And I have to admit that uh, <clears throat> being able to have Luigi's scare factor is probably one of the biggest things that I think the Nintendo decided to add in, because hmm. I will admit, I mean, Paper Mario, Paper Mario on this N64, and that was a good thing to, that was pretty much kind of a hint to to this game, but not as much. But anyways, we have our little annual opening cutscene here with supposedly Luigi won a mansion. That's oddly weird enough. He didn't even enter in a contest, and you know he's here. Um, story to tell the fact that Mario is actually supposedly here waiting for him because Mario is happy. Anyways, mm -hmm. as you can see, the game, being the GameCube launch title, isn't exactly, uh, you know, I, I will admit there are some things about this game, but, uh, but there are some things about this game that aren't really too good, but anyways, um, I'm gonna say this right now, controls are kinda... They're okay. Um, control stick is to move, obviously. Um, B mm -hmm. button is for you to, you know, turn off your flashlight. You can let go of the same button to, uh, you know, turn it back on. Mm -hmm. C stick, it allows you to change Luigi's position, although I don't know why you would want to do this, to be honest. Other than strafing. Um, the other buttons don't do anything right now, except one mm -hmm. button, however. The Mario. A button actually calls out Mario. And there's a sense of a thing where if uh, Luigi has lower health down there, as you can see, the HP little heart, um, Luigi's calls from Mario will be a lot louder. So anyways, let's open this door. But we can't, and it's locked, and we heard some creepy noise. That is not good. So let this be a lesson, people. You see key? You see an orange light of death that looks like a ghost in hands? Yeah. You know, there's nothing trippy about that, no. And then the candle lights magically disappear as the ghost enters the door. Yeah, that's not creepy at all. Don't worry, it's natural. So, we got our first introduction to one of the main items that you'll probably see in the entire game, to be honest with you. Um, actually... Okay, we don't have that thing yet. I was checking some stuff really quick. <clears throat> um, anyways, let's just go ahead and open this door. I'm I'm only gonna show this cutscene once right here, where Luigi's opening the door actually. Cause to be honest, it's not really worth showing the door open at least a few times. I'll probably do it again in a later time. But anyways, let's just go. And my god, Luigi is spazzing out like a dick. Oh my god! And that's when you pee yourself, actually. At least that's when I peed myself. I was so scared when I was home, dude. And you know, it's natural. An old creepy scientist with a vacuum that's sucking a ghost in. Yeah, that's not creepy at all. And you know, him getting actually smacked in the face. Jeez, that's gotta hurt. Sure, take a lot of work, huh? Eh, well, silly you. And here's the introduction of Professor E. Gad, the creator of the Poltergeist 3000, which is on his back, actually. Um, the flood from Super Mario Sunshine, and also the paintbrush from. Uh, uh, Mario Sunshine as well, and we should probably get the hell out of here. I love that so much. Like, I don't know what they did, but... Yeah, our name is Luigi. We are the brother of a fellow Mario. What the hell am I talking about? Yeah, yeah, here we go, yeah. He pretty much explains the plot to you. A lot of 20, I don't think so, because you were... You weren't even here, technically. Red hat. Mm, 
No, he's not. He's our fellow love, lovely brother. Also, this song is really catchy, by the way. My name is. So, already, we're already into a little tutorial, and these controls are explaining what they do. And uh, there's also sidestep, which, to be honest, I don't think you would want to use sidestep because it's just horrible. I'd rather just go with standard, alright? Alright. Alright. So, right now, you can obviously tell how the game really works out. And right now he's telling us to use the strafing in this game and change our direction with the vacuum with the C stick. That's not hard at all. Now I believe he's going to tell us to catch some ghosts. And this... Basically how this game works is basically if you try to catch ghosts um, in the dark, you have to flash the, whole, the flashlight onto them and they'll freeze, such as this, and then after, if they freeze, um, you want to press the R button and go suck them in. Make sure to hold the control stick to the opposite of where Luigi's facing, otherwise, um, you're freaking, you're going to make Luigi lose hearts. So, yeah. What I usually like to do is actually, um, what I usually like to do is basically, I use the control stick to, or not control stick, but the flashlight. Um, I turn it off, and then when I finally get all of them together, I can then unleash my, uh, unleash the pow pow, as <laughs> E.G.A.D. referred to there. Yeah, this game is very Ghostbuster-like, as you can see. These ghosts won't actually hurt you, um, in this tutorial, but, uh, like right there. Technically, if I didn't do that fast enough, they probably would've hit me, just saying. Now see, like this, this group, you probably won't really likely to meet up with like five random ghosts out here. But just for all of it, here you go. Oh, I missed one. That sucks. Yeah, technically right there, I probably should've got hit, but I didn't. But anyways, you catch about 11 ghosts all together. If you miss one, that's fine. So yeah. What, 10? I missed one? Yeah, whatever. I am ready. Uh, nah. We could go to the gallery, but to be honest, I think I'm gonna say that for later. It's basically the place where the professor, um, keeps all of his paintings right there. And, and if you really wish to go back to the training room, you can. It's not really worth it, though. What you want to go to is the mansion, actually, so... And I'll show this cutscene at least once. And there he is, in his little shacket of home. Now this is when the game really gets serious. I don't know why it makes that noise there, but it scares the hell out of me. And now we officially have full control of what the hell to do. So, our button, you already know what to do. And also to move it, move the vacuum, you can move it with the C-stick. Which also affects the flashlight if you really think you need to move it down or up. Um, Click the Z button, and you'll actually get this little cool menu screen for the Game Boy Horror. Yeah, I know, that's awesome. And right there, it tells you what we have in terms of money and the ghosts. Now, money is actually what is going to rank you on this game, actually, to be honest. And uh, I know, you see the toad there, but first off, before I even want to do anything, as you can see, there's coins over there, but first, worry about this thing right now. Yeah. Um, I recommend get these freaking bills out of the way now. Oh, I'm doing a horrible job right now, Jesus. I really am doing a horrible job, dude. Ugh, that was terrible. And forgive me if I'm strafing a lot, but... I don't know, this game kinda doesn't do too well with strafing. Anyways, there we go. Actually, uh, you can also check pots to see if there's anything, which I generally like to do for some reason. I don't know, it's kind of an OCD kind of thing to me. But anyways, let's ignore that and let's actually light up this room with Toad. Somehow, Toad is in here. And there's actually only a few Toads in here, and basically Toad's mechanic is mainly to light up this room that's freaking dark. And not only that, um, 
He's basically your safe haven. So, of course, we're gonna say we're awesome and say, yeah, we're gonna do it. And see, as you can see, we're, we can save now. And we shall. Uh, you're not gonna be able to open this door for a very long while. Not gonna be too long, however. Keep that in mind. Although, now we can probably begin what the heck this game has to offer. First off, um, do not, on any circumstances, um, blow out those candles yet. Trust me, I'm, I'm being serious here. That's actually how this game starts out. You actually want to go over here and try and find some money that's only available to you before you actually start up the actual fight. Although I suppose you could probably get the money after, but to be honest, it's not really worth it. Um, also, another thing to note out is, even though if you guys are playing the game aside with me, um, it's more likely you're probably not going to be able to find the exact same money as I do at the same time. Because sometimes I remember right there, this drawer, or whatever you want to call it, really, I mean, it doesn't have money all the time. Same with this thing right here. Anyway, it's just blow out the candles. And now we have a lovely cutscene. Who put out my candles? You, Mr. Lime Green! Where dark rooms are dangerous around here, yes. Okay, I'm done. That was horrible enough as it was. I'm so sorry. Blah, huh? <laughs> Little red cap. Mario knows how to fight ghosts. Come on, he's been doing it since Mario 64. He's a brother. I wish I could do my Luigi impression right now, because that would so work out, but I can't. And this starts off our first adventure as a Ghostbuster maniac, and yes, sometimes Luigi gets scared pitless. S pissed. Pit sometimes whenever you hear the ghosts, um, Luigi actually freezes and freaks out. But right there, as you saw, Luigi did not get freaked out whatsoever, so for whatever reason. Like right there, see? For some reason it's not... I hear a coin. I hear a coin. I heard a coin back there. Oh. Huh. Well, that's something. Anyways. And generally in every single room, there's always going to be a treasure chest of some sort. If not, then it's more likely Mario. not it. Now, like I said before, I'm not going to show that cutscene. However, now it's scary as hell. And these orange ghosts are actually going to be what you can basically call them as Goombas. I would rather call them. But now we're going to get introduced into these motherfuckers. And I hate them so much. I hate them so much, man. It's not even funny. Also, if you listen carefully, Luigi actually hums to the music. Yeah, I I don't get that right there. I don't know. Also, uh, I was actually going to record this this entire episode a lot later, but I couldn't. Oh my god! Oh, wow, really? Now, one thing you have to do is strategically think this through, because you can try and run away from the ghosts while you're catching them. Uh, which I didn't do successfully, as you can tell, but, um, anyways, yeah, the, this game, I, I feel like I'm jumping around places for some reason, um, what you mainly want to think about is basically try and find a lot of money, I'm saying that right now, I'm being honest, like, check everywhere if you can. Mm. Uh, but anyways, uh, this room should introduce us to new ghosts, but of course we have to take care of a few of these guys in the room. Where are they? Come on. Come on out. Yeah, those guys. Which, they have 40 HP, believe it or not. But they, for some stupid reason, all they care about is eating bananas. I'm not kidding. They care about eating bananas. I don't know why... Maybe it's a reference to Donkey Kong, but I kind of doubt that. I got a feeling I'm going to piss my pants off, but yep. That was close. I don't know how that ghost got flashed, well, I'm assuming this thing has a large... Yeah, it does. Why are you appearing right behind me when I'm right there? Just... Ugh. But yeah. I'm sorry if you kind of get annoyed by how the way I play the game, but... 
It's just the way I've been playing, and to be honest, it's worked out fine. We'll get to understanding more about the other ghosts later. Anyways, open this chest. Sometimes it has money. I probably should have waited until the actual room lit up, but... Um, rare occasions, there are hidden ghosts that give off money. This one right here... This is a blue ghost. You want to catch this thing. I'm serious, because it gives off explosion money of justice and gravy. And I know you want some gravy. It's awesome. I'm serious. <laughs> I don't know why I'm saying gravy, but hey, it works. Although, I'm failing to get all these money. Aww. All sucks. Um, this last ghost is right here. Silly. And now the key's right up here, which, uh... There you go. Just give it to us. So we're doing good. Um, and the one thing I kinda like about this game... Oh, hey, it's another toad, actually. Let's talk to him first. Yep. Yep, no problem. Uh, note to self. Plants. Remember these plants very well, I'm serious. You may want to go back to them. But anyways, now, um, I don't think I should probably go on yet. Oh, yeah. Oh, hey. Yeah, see? Right there. That's what I'm talking about. Sometimes you'll find, um, other stuff in here. Oh, yeah. That's why you gotta look. Like, see? Like, right there. I'm telling you, man, you gotta check this shit out. Hearts. I don't really need those hearts yet, anyway. Um, I believe there's no, there's really no other money in here, to be honest with you, right now. Why not? We'll check this thing one last time. So I'm sorry for a really short episode today, but I'm I'm trying to not go over the way I would want to. Plus, there's this thing. I guess we'll do this first. Basically, he's talking about how. Uh, Ghosts. There's these are the gallery painting ghosts that he that he has that the professor has in, in the gallery. And uh, he's telling us if you if you actually find one, you can actually go up to it, um, press X, and it'll give you like this little search thing, which I should probably demonstrate this now. Um, in certain areas of this game, there's actually little areas where you can like. Um, actually use the, use the mirror. All you have to do is just point it. And then you'll actually get transported back to the main um, foyer here. Which, this place is called the foyer for some reason. And anyways, um, hopefully you guys enjoyed this, like, this episode of Luigi's Mansion. Um, I will probably record another episode actually during m uh, midnight. Because I'm recording this still kind of early. It's like 12 right now. I apologize for that. I'm trying to get these recorded during midnight though because it'll add uh, more effect to this actual Let's Play because all I've seen people do is just record whenever they want. But anyways, hopefully you guys enjoyed and I will see you next time. Goodbye folks. Hmm.